I just recently got the Brixo standard kit from the Kickstarter that I backed. Uh, it's a set of conductive Lego compatible blocks that allow you to create some interesting circuits and things um, using Legos and uh, your existing building sets. Uh, here's one of the demo circuit sorts of things that they have set up. Um, you've got a, it comes with a battery pack here, uh, power button, all that sort of thing. If you don't want to put a nine volt battery into the bottom of this, then you can use the provided USB port to uh, provide power. It doesn't charge batteries. It just uh, is an alternate power source. Part of uh, the things that it comes with, it comes with um, LED bricks. These, uh, there are two LEDs here. You can see inside there, there's a couple of um, different ones there. And that way the polarity of the circuit doesn't really matter. One will be on regardless of what you do. Um, they've got different sensors. Here's a, a sound sensor. It, ref, it uh, detects sound, uh, large sounds like uh, clapping or snapping. They've got a proximity sensor and you'll notice the little magnet there. It's because it uh, reacts to proximity of this little magnet block here with the Brixo logo. And it also uh, comes with a light sensor. So if you cover up the light sensor, then the circuit is engaged. Uh, it, when it detects light, it turns it off. Um, each brick has little springs on the ends. So you can see right up here, there's like a little, a little plastic spring. It's not actually a spring. If you look inside, it's really just plastic that comes out of the side of the brick, but it creates a nice tension between two bricks. When you merge them up together, the two will make a good connection. You can't do spring to wall. So if uh, you can't, attach like this because they don't actually meet and so the, the electricity won't flow. Some bricks have little pads on them and you can connect uh, spring to pad or spring to spring but like pad to wall is not going to work and it come, and in the book they, they explain all this. Uh, so if your circuit isn't working that uh, is why. So here I have a simple circuit and I will put the proximity sensor in there. I'll put the proximity sensor in. Um, it does connect, conduct also uh, from top to bottom. So if you stack the bricks together, they, they'll conduct. And then we can turn it on. And you see the green light here indicates that, it, that there's power. And let me get the proximity sensor. And if we, yep, there we go. It lights up when you get pretty close. If we want, we can turn it off and we can swap out for the light sensor. I can show you how that works. So we can turn it back on. And then if I cover that up, you'll see that happens. Um, and in, in here you can even see that there's a little blinking light showing you that the light sensor is on and working. Uh, the light sensor takes a tiny bit of power, as does the sound sensor. The proximity sensor doesn't have an LED in it. Uh, so if that's what's in your circuit, you'll, you won't see that blinking. Um, but it also doesn't take any power, so that's, that's pretty nice. Um, it does come with a motor, so if you want to plug in the uh, one of those little sticks here, then you can have it like turn gears or something like that. And by doing a quick uh, click on the power button on the battery brick. You can change the polarity of the of the battery Which will change the direction of the motor. So if you want to have it reverse or whatever you can you can do that I think it's pretty neat. I've got a couple. Yeah, my base kit came with a, a whole bag of the conductive bricks of different sizes between four by one and two by two two by ones uh, I got the battery two LED bricks, three sensors, the, the motor, and the magnet that goes with the sensor. And I'm kind of excited to see if I can put together some models that have uh, dynamic stuff going on. It's pretty neat.